Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at landforms in the upper course of the river. This is part of Paper 1, Unit C, River Landscapes. Erosional processes in the upper course of the river lead to the formation of V-shaped valleys, interlocking spurs, waterfalls, rapids and gorges. We are going to start off by looking at how interlocking spurs form. Interlocking spurs poke out of the valley from alternate sides. They are found in narrow, steep V-shaped valleys with convex slopes, where the river channel takes up most of the valley floor. They are formed by vertical erosion, which is mainly hydraulic action, deepening the channel. V-shaped valleys are made of hard rock, such as slate and granite. This rock is resistant to erosion, but it is subject to freeze-thaw weathering, where the water gets into cracks, which freezes and expands and then thaws again. This weakens the rock over time, causing fragments to break loose and fall down the slopes, creating scree slopes. Once this weathered material reaches the valley floor, it will be carried away by the river. The river has to take a winding path through the valley because of the hard rock obstacles. The river will go around these obstacles, which causes slopes to project into the valley from alternating sides forming zip-like interlocking spurs, like you can see in the photograph on the screen. You can see this process a little bit more clearly in the diagram on the screen. So you can see you've got the vertical erosion deepening the river channel, with that steep V-shaped valley, the hard rock here being resistant to erosion and weathering, and then you can see the river winding around those obstacles of hard rock, so areas of high land project into the valley from alternating sides. Right, we're going to move on to one of the lesser understood parts of the upper course, which is rapids. So let's have a think about how these form. Rapids are known as white water and are fast flowing turbulent parts of the river, where the riverbed is very uneven and has a steep gradient. The reason the riverbed is uneven is due to the alternating bands of rock. Soft rock is less resistant to erodes easily, lowering the riverbed, whereas the hard rock is much more resistant so is left protruding up from the riverbed. As the water flows over these uneven sections, the river becomes more and more turbulent, which is great for white water rafting. Let's finish off the video by looking at how waterfalls and gorges form. On the screen there is an image of high force on the River Tees in Northumberland. This is England's highest waterfall. The other image is showing you the stages of formation that we're going to talk about in a bit more detail. Waterfalls form when water falls down a vertical drop in the river channel. Rocks are laid horizontally, but a drop will form where there is a gap between hard rock capping upstream and the softer rock downstream. Differential resistance means that the soft rock will erode much quicker and the water will fall down to the soft rock from the hard rock above. Now you can see that on the screen in stages one and two. If we then move on to stage three, once the waterfall has become established, the sheer volume of water tumbling down will erode the rocks behind the fall through hydraulic action. This will break off pieces of soft rock and will form a notch or indentation at the base of the waterfall. Over time, this soft rock will erode more, leaving the hard rock capping overhanging the drop with no support below. This will eventually break off and fall into the base of the waterfall, and you can see that happening at stage four. The collapsed rock then gets picked up by the turbulent flow of the water and it will help erode the base further, creating a plunge pool. The erosion here means that undercutting continues, creating a new overhang. This again will collapse due to gravity, repeating the process, causing the waterfall to retreat upstream, leaving a steep sided gorge downstream. And again, you can see that in the photograph on the screen. A gorge is a narrow, steep sided and high sided valley with bare and rocky walls, which will become longer each time the waterfall retreats. The river channel takes up most of the valley floor and is full of large boulders and is fast flowing turbulent white water. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the landforms in the upper course of the river. Thank you for watching.